Hi, in this video, let's create this simple 3D object in HTML and CSS using a single div. So here in my HTML file, I'll add a div with the class of circle. And inside this div, I'll add another div and I'll give it a class of inner circle. This inner circle will be responsible for giving this object the 3D effect. Now that's all we need for the HTML. Now let's go to our CSS file and add some styles. First, let's select the div with the class of circle. We'll give it a height of 400 pixel, a width of 400 pixel. We'll add a linear gradient to the background. I've copied a gradient, so I'll simply paste it. And finally, let's convert this into a circle. So we'll give it a border radius of 50%. Now let's vertically and horizontally center the circle on the document. So I'll give the body a few flexbox properties. First, I'll give it a height of 100 VH. I'll set the display to flex. I'll set the justify content to center. And I'll align the items to the center. And now our circle is vertically and horizontally centered. The next thing we need to do is give a few styles to the inner circle. So I'll select the div with the class of inner circle. I'll give it a height of 360 pixel. I'll give it a width of 360 pixel. Now this circle too will have a background with a linear gradient and I've copied the gradient. I'll simply paste it. And here we have a rectangle. Now let's vertically and horizontally center this rectangle inside the circle. So I'll give this div with a class of circle a few flexbox properties. So I'll set the display to flex. I'll say justify content, center, align items to the center. Now let's turn this rectangle into a circle. So we'll give this inner circle a border radius of 50%. Finally, let's give this inner circle the 3D effect by adding the filter property. So I'll say filter and I'll set the blur to 18 pixel. Now also let's give the body a background color so that we can see the 3 d effect clearly. So we'll go right at the top and we'll give this a background color of 990000. And we can now see the 3 d effect. However, there's still one thing that this object is missing and that is the drop shadow. So in order to create the drop shadow, we'll be using the before pseudo element. So let's go at the bottom and make some space. I'll select the div with the class of circle and I'll use the before pseudo element. I'll set the content to nothing and I'll give it a position of absolute. Now keep in mind that this before pseudo element will be positioned in relation to the circle. So let's give the circle a position of relative. Now let's continue giving the styles to the pseudo element. We'll give it a height of 60 pixel, a width of 100 pixel, sorry 100%. We'll give it a background color of RGBA 0, 0, 0 and the alpha channel is going to be 0.6. Now we need to place this shadow at the bottom of the circle. So we'll position it at negative 40 pixel from the bottom. Also, let's give it a border radius 
of 50 percent now you can see that the shadow is above the object and we need to place it behind the object so let's use the z index property and we'll set it to negative one and finally let's use the filter property and set the blur to 10 pixel and here we have our 3d object ready and we have created this using a single div so hope you like the video i'll see you in the next one till then have a nice day